Hey guys, I'm back with the third segment of magnetism. As I said before, if you master magnetism, you master charisma. So this is the most important and the first thing that I'm teaching you right after presence. So of course, I still have my notes, just like an actor would. And what I'm doing is just giving you more examples of how to influence individuals. And of course, do this with discernment. You want to be influential, not manipulative. I do not consent or condone any manipulation of anybody at any given time. What I'm doing is creating influence and persuasion. Now, what we're looking is helping others do what you want them to do. So whenever their attention is free, you can make them turn around. And you can whisper this to yourself, you know, telling yourself, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, and they will. If you ever felt someone that was looking at you and you look back and you saw them looking at you, same situation. Of course, you can tell them in your head to look at me. And just like I said with the first segment, basically it's the thoughts that were emanating within the atmosphere or the actions, the physical actions or the emotions that they're feeling off of us. Look ahead as if nothing actually happened because we don't want to be caught. We just want to practice. We want to be able to practice our influence around people and our charisma. It's not charismatic if people know that you were trying. We have to make it as easy as possible as if we were in the Olympics and we were just having fun. They put so much time and effort throughout their whole entire lives to get to that one moment. And basically what they do, they make it look as easy as possible. So you can teach people how to, you know, influence themselves to create a magnetism that can make people move left or move right or glance left or glance right. As well as, you know, put words, you know, you're thinking this, you're thinking that, you're saying this. So it can be thirsty, 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 thirsty. And eventually they'll think about, hmm, I'm kind of thirsty, I kind of want some water. Or a question like, ask me about this, ask me about this, ask me about this. And they'll eventually ask you because what you're doing is projecting those thoughts and they're receiving them. So the mental, basically it increases power as time manifests. So what we're looking at is the final bout, the magnetic duel. So if any situation you'll have one person, as I said before, that is creating more magnetism than the other. Someone that knows how to use magnetism, you'll feel it, you'll know. Because once you know about this, it's something that you can't actually forget. So what we're doing is about, and of course, there'll be a situation where you might be in an interview or you might be talking to a competitor and they're trying to like strong arm you and you just won't give up. You know how to use your magnetism better. And of course, a lot of the sayings that I'm actually taking from are from Personal Magnetism by Theron Q. Dumont. And all credit goes to Mr. Dumont. And basically what he is saying is affirmations that can teach you to repeatedly remember in a given situation. So when someone is trying to influence you, you will just think about this. And of course, your energy will emanate. My magnetism is stronger than yours. It is overpowering you. My magnetism is beating yours down. You are weakening. You are beginning to feel afraid of me. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I tell you, I am forcing you backward. I am scattering your forces. I am dissipating your energy. I am breaking your magnetism to bits. By the power of my own force, I am standing on a solid rock and you are standing on sand. Your feet are slipping away from you. My magnetism is far stronger than yours. I know how to use it better. I am overpowering you. I am conquering you. I am bending you to my will. I am mastering you steadily and complete. I shall command you. 
to do as I will, surrender now at once. You must and you shall, you are giving up. So you can use that. And of course, if they're not experienced and actually using their magnetism, that's fine. But someone that either is not paying attention or is just, you know, emotional or knows how to use your magnetism, all three, not paying attention, emotional, and knows how to use your magnetism, the best way is to negate. So what I do sometimes when people are trying to influence me and I feel the emotion, I say negate, negate, negate. All right, guys, so hopefully you had a couple examples that you can use on a daily basis and practice in front of the mirror. Of course, like I said before, people have to be paying attention to you or not paying attention to what they're doing. Most oftentimes, like I said before, people are walking in a daze. So influence is possible. So again, if you liked my videos, feel free to subscribe. The class button is on the bottom left. And of course, stay tuned for more episodes that I'm going to have about charisma and controlling your anxiety, as well as being a highly sensitive person. All right, guys, so I'm out and about what I just talked about. 